The first stop after defeating the knight in the plains is the village. And uh, there's lots of people here to talk to. You just press up and all of them will have something to say. Some of them will give you a few clues. Uh, most of them will just chat about something. Over here to the right we have the Bard, and uh, he's lost all of his music sheets around the place. If you find them you can bring them back and he will give you a reward of 500 gold. If you talk to him again, uh, you can also ask him to play any one of the music sheets that you found. Just over here to the right is a place where you can spend your gold. Uh, we have the Goatician, he sells meal uh, coupons or something, meal tickets. And you can take them to the chef just above. And he will cook you a meal that increases your life by one. He sells about three or four of them and they get more expensive the more of them you buy. There's also the uh, Magician over there to the right. And she will sell you magic potions that increase your magic. Uh, she will only sell you magic potions if you have a relic. Uh, well, she sells you, um, I think, up to the number of relics that you have. I don't have any relics at the moment, so she's not going to, uh, to give us any magic. But I'm going to head down in a second to speak with Chester, and he should have something that I can purchase. So I'm just going to head down the ladder. This takes us down to the tavern. There's a few ladies here that we can speak to. Uh, the dancer has a music sheet, but she'll only give it to us once we've defeated the Spectre Knight. Over here to the right we have a, first of all, we have a, a secret in the wall to the left. Just break that to find a, another magic sheet. Uh, this guy here, the Trupal Acolyte. You can find out about the Trupal King from him. Uh, you can also buy a couple of chalices. And uh, chalices are used to store the, the I-Core from the Trupal King. And this can be really handy actually because you can fill them up with uh, Renewal which restores your health and Boldness which makes you invulnerable for 10 seconds. So I like to take two chalices with me to each level. And a little bit later we'll go and see the Triple King and fill them up. This is Chester, you can find him all over the place. Um, he sells a couple of relics right now. The Fishing Pole and the Chaos Sphere which is a kind of a, an attack. Uh, the fishing rod uh, lets us uh, fish for treasure throughout some of the levels, so that's quite handy to have. Uh, there's the witch here, the Grandma Swamp. Uh, you can talk to her to find out all of your stats, uh, such as the number of gold uh, that you've collected, uh, the time that you've been playing the game as well. And uh, you can break open the door to the left. And here we have Mona, she's a little bit bored. But if you talk to her and uh, give her 100 gold, she will play a game. So we need to hit the potions towards the, uh, the targets. The targets at the top, I think they're worth 10 points each. Uh, the top one on the side is three and the bottom one is one point. Uh, you can see the score at the top, currently I've got 46 points. Uh, if I get to 150 then Mona will give us uh, a magic, uh, not a magic sheet, a music sheet as well. It might take a, a couple of attempts to get the 150. Uh, but that wasn't bad, 175, and uh, that's enough to get the, uh, the music sheet. She's impressed, we get some gold as well, some gems. So another music sheet that I can sell to the Bard. I'll have to come back later and speak with the dancer once I've uh, destroyed the Spectre Knight. And I can get the music sheet from the dancer. 
there is one more music sheet over here. So if I just walk to the right, this uh, kid wants to play with the other uh, hoop. <laughs> So you can jump on the um, uh, the stick there that the water carrier is holding onto, and at the top there's firstly a chest which is kind of hidden; it's hard to see, and a music sheet as well. So another music sheet to sell to the bard, and uh, just continue on to the right, and we'll get back to the map. So just up here to the right we have the Triple Pond. This is where we find the Triple King. If you fall into the water he gets a little bit angry, but uh, you don't, ac don't actually die. Uh, we can ask him for aid, and he'll give us a choice of Icor. I'd like to have the Boldness and the Renewal. I don't really care too much about uh, collecting all the treasure. And uh, he's going to have a little dance, so I'll leave you with this and see you for the next video. Thanks for watching! Thank <laughs> you.